We're now going to cover a vital aspect of Fronter and that is dealing with resources. In much the way that we use the shared area, we have access as teachers to be able to put information on that shared area or we are able to access documents that only colleagues will require. We want some form of access for students who are able to use other resources such as any kinds of electronic worksheets, maybe some PowerPoint presentation, looking at some clips or whatever. So in order to do this, we have to go to the room. And in the room, we have to go to the uh, drop-down menu in the top right here, and we have to go to Customize Tool Package. Currently, on the left-hand side, we have only got one resources folder. We'd like to have two, one which is going to be for the teachers to use, one which is for the students. So we're going to create a new tool to start off with to make the second folder. I'm going to tick Resources, scroll down, and save that. So currently we have two resources. First of all, I'm going to make the teacher resources. I will do this by clicking here, and you can see the options come up regarding these resources. So I'm now going to edit the title and say that these are teacher resources. The description here is simply materials. And then we're going to change this option here to delete owner. This actually means that you reserve the right if you've created the page where no other person is able to change the materials that you put up or upload. We then leave the standard access based on the members access in the room. So that means you reserve that right. And once we've done that, we're going to click on to save. Now here, Fronter has recognized the fact that the owner has the rights to delete the files only by this D here. Notice that there's a change up here to show that teacher resources is now present. We click onto the other resources and I double click onto there. And once again, the same menus come up. So I'm going to put now in here, student resources. Just a little description. And here, we're going to leave the tool visible for read, write, delete, and owner. But this time, we're going to click onto the bottom radio button, which is pupil students that normally have write access. So it will act like the shared area which we are very used to using at school. Now we save that. Now you can see student resources has appeared here.